Talk to us about this $5 million figure. Uh, at first blush, when I saw this just a few hours ago, I thought to myself, that is a small amount of money given the massive disruption that the hack has created up and down the United States. Absolutely. So it does seem like a small amount of money given, you know, the, the amount of disruption it's caused. However, in talking to cybersecurity experts who've dealt with the dark side ransomware group, which is responsible for this attack over the course of the week, they've said that that's, you know, a fairly typical number for, for what these criminals are asking for. So it sort of underscores the theory that dark side maybe didn't realize how much damage mm. this would do, how, you know, this would get the FBI involved. They were simply hoping to make money, demand a ransom that, you know, was likely to be paid, um, but but not really understanding necessarily the size of the target they were hitting. Um, you know, they posted on their dark web pages, we reported that, you know, they're not going to go after targets like this in the future. So it suggests they maybe went a little bit bigger than they understood they were doing. How does a company decide whether to pay, not to pay, and ultimately how much to pay? Right. So in terms of the question of whether to pay or not to pay, you know, the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security generally recommend that they don't because they say this, you know, fuels the business model of ransomware, which sort of makes sense in a, in a general way. However, at the level of the individual company, you know, the there are a couple of things that go into the equation. You know, first, the ethics of paying hackers. The second is, you know, how much damage is this doing relative to the good that, you know, paying a ransom and getting uh, systems up and running can, can do. The third uh, question is, how much backup do they have? Mm. So, for example, if, if a company's data is encrypted, but they have good backups, then they don't necessarily need to pay. Uh, and in terms of your question, about the amount. Typically, ransomware operators are open to negotiation. They want to get a ransom paid. So, you know, they'll name a figure. Uh, the negotiation will happen. Sometimes cyber insurance companies get involved. Some, you know, will say, you know, send in our negotiators, that kind of thing, or, you know, the hub of companies that are approved to do this uh, number settled upon. And then once a ransom is paid, it's sometimes an open question of whether or not the criminals actually decrypt data. So that's another wrinkle in this.